Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how I built this trailer gate lift assist system for my trailer for $66. Here you'll see a few photos of what the final installation looks like. And going forward in this video I will show you all the parts you need and the exact method used to install all these parts. My trailer is a square tube trailer so I'm using the tubing of the trailer itself to house the components of this system. Inside the frame rail I'm going to house the spring and the cable that make all this work. There'll be nothing to bolt on to the top of my frame rail. It's going to be a nice clean insulation. This picture shows you the parts it takes to do one side of the trailer. So you'll need twice as much as shown in the picture. The parts list includes all the parts. I will include the parts list in the description of this video with the prices so you can see what it'll cost you to build yours. In this picture you'll see some polycarbonate tube up top. This tubing is not necessary. I had it laying around so I used it to kind of prevent friction between the springs and the inside of the rail no metal on metal rubbing for me. Uh, you can use PVC pipe if you can find some to fit. But again, not necessary to have the tubing. Alright, let's show you the process. On my trailer, the trailer ramp is 49 inches tall. So I'm going to go down to the 24 inch mark and put a mark on that so I'll know where to drill my hole. It's going to be approximately half the height of the ramp. The cable's going to come out of the square tube and go up to a bolt that is going to be at this mark at 24 inches. I'm going to put a mark in the center so when I drill my hole it'll go straight in and straight out that square tubing on both sides. Now I have the cable, spring, and a tape measure laid out along the rail of the trailer. Back here on the back I've got enough slack in the cable to reach from the center of the square tube up to the bolt that is mounted to the ramp. At this point right here the cable will attach to the spring. It'll go in that coil on the spring. Then up front is where I'll have a single bolt that goes from top to bottom through the frame rail through the coil on the spring to hold that in place inside the frame rail. When the tailgate is closed I want the spring to be stretched out about two or three inches so I'm going to go at the 65 inch mark to drill my holes. First I'm going to drill a pilot hole with a smaller bit just because that's easier to get started and now I'm going to run through with the 3 8 inch bit through the top and the bottom of that upper frame rail. So here's my finished hole with the 3 8 inch bit. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to drill a pilot hole through the ramp through both sides of this square tubing. Again, I'm using a small bit for a pilot hole, and then come back with my 3 8 inch bit to drill in the final hole. Go through both sides of the square tubing, and that's that. Next, we're going to have to drill the holes through the back end of this frame rail. This is going to hold these quarter inch bolts that are going to be the key part of our roller system in the back. These washers are 5 eighths of an inch in diameter. So my holes center to center have to be 5 eighths of an inch so that these washers will be nearly touching or touching inside the frame rail on this roller system. So since they're 5 eighths I'm going to make a mark at 1 inch. This is half of the 2 inch tubing and then I'm going to come up 5 sixteenths of an inch from the 1 inch mark and make another mark 
and then I'm going to come down 5 sixteenths of an inch from the one inch mark and make my mark for my second bolt. I'm going to go ahead and drill a quarter inch hole through this side of the frame rail and I'm going to go ahead and drill the bottom hole on this side of the frame rail now finishing out the second hole for the top bolt and finishing out the second hole for the bottom bolt now it's time to attach the cable to the spring you're going to have to separate this coil out using a plain blade screwdriver once you get it separated you can take that cable and slide it onto that coil wiggle the screwdriver out now you're hooked in the coil so just take the screwdriver and pop that on in there alright it is attached and secure this is where I'm going to slide the spring inside the polycarbonate tube that's going to go inside the frame rail again the tubing's not necessary so the cable and the spring are inside the tubing springs gonna stick out just a little bit I drilled my hole at 65 inches so my polycarbonate tube is about 63 inches long that will allow enough room inside the frame rail for this to slide back and forth won't be any binding in there it can move freely and slide as the tailgate goes up and down now as a single unit we're gonna slide this up inside the rail and this is inch and a half polycarbonate tube I don't think I mentioned that before I'm gonna push that on up in there a couple inches and hopefully the spring is right there at the hole we drilled there it is okay that's the loop on the forward end of the spring so the next step is going to be to take a 3 8 inch 3 inch long bolt with a nylon washer on it and stick it through that frame rail through that loop or coil on the end of the spring and out the bottom of the frame rail it's a difficult task when you got a camera in one hand trying to work with the other All right, I've got it started here, so I'm just going to tap it on through. Now we'll put our 3 8 inch nylon locking nut on there and tighten that up. All right, the next thing we've got to do from this point is we have to build these rollers in the back of the frame rail. This is everything you're going to need plus a piece of this bronze bushing the spacers the bronze bushing and the two washers in the middle will be inside the frame rail and take about a quarter inch piece of this bronze bushing and put between those two washers in the middle so we're going to start with a bolt and a washer then a spacer then another washer Go ahead and move your cable up to the top. Put on your your bronze. Then put on another washer. Final spacer for this bolt. Once you get everything lined up, you'll be able to slide that bolt all the way through and out the other side of the frame rail. I'm gonna go ahead and put the nut on this to make sure and I don't knock it out and everything falls apart like I said you want your cable on the top that way it's in the right position go ahead and put it in the middle let's get another bolt and washer and start assembling the top roller it'll be built just like the bottom one you're gonna need a spacer a washer quarter inch piece of bronze roller bearing or bushing another washer and your second spacer I'm 
once you get everything aligned on the top you can push that bolt through and then finish it off with a washer and your quarter inch nylon locking nut. Gonna have to take this bolt off the bottom put a washer on. The reason I'm using the nylon locking washers is so I don't have to tighten it down so tight that the bearing won't roll. This will be nice and secure once I get it snugged up. And once I get this tight, I'll show you how secure that cable is on those roller bearings between those washers. It's going to keep this thing running true and straight right out the middle. Won't go anywhere to the left or the right. Bottom bearing's working fine, it's rolling. Top bearing seems like a, it's a little tight, so I'm going to back off this nut just a little bit. That should do it. Yep, rolls freely, so everything looks good. Top bearing's rolling. Bottom bearing's rolling. All right, the next thing we have to do is attach this cable to the bolt on the ramp. So you're gonna need your four inch long, three eighths inch bolt, two one and a half inch washers, your nylon washer, and a three eighths locking nut and along with your one and a half inch steel spacer. First thing you're going to do is put one of the one and a half inch washers on the bolt. Then you're going to put on your one and a half inch steel spacer. Then put on the cable. Your final large washer. And you're gonna have to pull up on this. There's gonna be some tension on it because you're pulling this spring about three inches. Feed your bolt through the holes that you drilled in the uh, frame of the tailgate. Go ahead and stick on your nylon washer and your 3 8 nylon locking nut. Get this bolt pushed on through and then we'll get this tightened up. All right, I'm going to show you what this looks like. You see the cable coming straight out of the middle of the frame and straight up to the end of that bolt. It's in a perfect alignment. The large washer is going to keep this cable from coming off of that bolt accidentally. If some gets caught of it, it's not going to snatch it off. Got your nylon washer and locking nut there. Here's a demo of the rollers rolling as the tailgate goes up and down. See that top one spinning, now the bottom one spinning. This is letting the tailgate down. Now as you let it up, the bottom one goes the other way. Then as the cable touches the top roller, it rolls. To lift the tailgate, stick your foot under it, kick it up, grab it with your hand, and close it. It is that simple. Lift system like this costs $180 to bolt onto your trailer. I built this one for $66. Thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.